If you don't know already, the final map for Turning Tides, that being Heligoland Bite, is currently up for testing on the CTE. And as with pretty much every other content creator, I'm going to go ahead and list some feedback and experiences I had for this map. But before I begin, I'd just like to state that this is the first build of the map that we have tried so far, and with it being on the CTE, this is all still a work in progress. Changes can still be made to improve the map in various ways, and any feedback that I have is not what should happen, and you may disagree with what I have to say. But we only have a month until release for the second half of Turning Tides featuring this map, so time is short, and I really hope that we'll be able to see some changes by the January release. So let's go over the main attraction for this map, the Naval Combat. This map features destroyer on destroyer combat mixed in with some landing craft and torpedo boats. All I have to say is, those torpedo boats just get destroyed so quickly when they're going after those destroyers, and it's so easy for them to do so because the sea is pretty much flat, so the main cannon on the destroyer makes quick work of any nearby boats. Pilots are the only real way to get damage fast on destroyers. The fortress gun on B can give some damage as well, but there's only one on the map and it has a limited turn radius. Actually, Westy made a good suggestion about having some big waves come in like Paracel Storm to help with the torpedo boats and make it more difficult for destroyers to kill enemies. A link to his video will be in the description where he takes the map and criticizes it a lot more than I am going to today. Also, adding on to that, I'd suggest having more fortress guns on this map. I've replaced the bunker on D with a fortress gun to help combat the destroyers at range. Other than that, I can't really say much more about the naval combat since I don't really hop in boats that often. With that out the way, let's talk about the bane of this map, which is the infantry combat. If I could use one word to describe it, it'd be horrible. I did play with around 150 ping on European servers, so that may impact my experience negatively, but the majority of my complaints aren't even network ones, so let's go over them. With the very limited places to move from E to A to B, zerging of entire teams happens in every game. With so many clumped up players running from objective to objective, they're the perfect prey for any decent pilot. Keep in mind that there is no cover to shield yourself from above when moving from place to place. But, if you do happen to survive the zerging, getting to C and D is somewhat difficult. The open beach and water just makes it perfect for snipers and bipod and machine gunners to mow you all down as you attempt to take the destroyer ship at sea. I believe DICE is at the point of development that any significant map changes are pretty much impossible to have. Soft cover, and by that I mean destructible cover, will most likely be added to help certain areas, but what I would like to see is a tunnel system through the mountain. It'll make getting to farther objectives like E more accessible, and depending on how it goes, you could separate infantry combat entirely from naval combat and please both ends of the spectrum when it comes to balancing this map. Like I said, this is very unlikely, but if it did come true, I'd die happy. Aside from the obvious problems this map has, I will say I did somewhat enjoy the brief infantry combat at the B flag, but all in all, I'm not really looking forward into the second half of Turning Tides. I haven't tried Zebergy yet, but the linearity of the map concerns me. So there you have it. Some of my experiences and feedback on Hello Galan Bite. I may have come across a little ranty or unorganized in this video, so I apologize if it does come across that way. I am recording this at midnight, so that may have something to do with it. But, all jokes aside, let me know what you think of Hello Galan Bite. If you did partake in the playtest, let me know your feedback in the comment section down below, and if you agree or disagree with anything that I have to say, let me know as well. Make sure to fill in the survey for Hello Galan Bite as well, so that way the developers can see all of your suggestions. So yeah, it's been Bloodhound, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.